so hello friends today in this video I'm going to show you this uh, plant as you can see at the end of the video I'm going to show you the flowers also so the name of this plant I think you can identify so this is the plant of uh, hibiscus mutabilis in Bengali we say it as uh, stholopoddo and uh, I've already made a video on this plant but this year actually that plant of mine was died a year ago due to the overwatering uh, caused by the rain not me <laughs> uh, so I couldn't have, have enough space that I can shift my plants to anywhere else under shade so I have to keep this plant in it but the most important thing is for this plant is it do not actually likes overwatering at all if you uh, one day it gets over uh, overwatered then it will it means the chances of uh, this plant to die is uh, increased so due to that problem you have to take care of the overwatering for this plant that is the main and important care and other than this today I'm going to talk to you about how I have cared my plants so that I have got so many flowers you can see from here the flowers started to come and here here then here then here then here and then finally these are the last blooms of this season and in next it may bloom in spring so the main characteristics of this plant means uh, hibiscus mutabilis is that uh, and, uh, of the flower at first I want to say that when the flower will bloom you will see it full white means milk white milky white uh, means as pure white as a you can see of milk but as the day starts to develop means uh, it goes towards uh, noon then the plant what happens the flowers become more reddish uh, and it looks more beautiful uh, means at the end of the day you will see dark pink colored flowers so this is the one of the one another characteristics of the flower of this hibiscus mutabilis okay next um, tip is to um, after this plant um, means it gives the flower you do not have to do anything just keep on watering and do not over water and if you are giving your liquid fertilizer to any of your winter flowering plants you can also add that, that uh, to this plant also and it will later bloom in spring after that what you have to do you have to for the whole summer for the whole summer you have to keep it under green net if you don't have green net keep it under an uh, indirect indirect sunlight because uh, if you are keeping it in hot summer if you are uh, living in uh, such a place that you do not get such high temperatures then it's okay you can keep it in uh, sunlight but if you are uh, living like means i'm living in an area which is the temperature rises up to 41 to 42 degrees so that temperature it cannot tolerate so that's why you, what you have to do you have to keep it under partial shade you can uh, shift this plant to any ver veranda or anything like that next in rainy season also same care but you have to keep it in <laughs> under any shade but otherwise due to over watering your plant may die may die i'm not <laughs> showing it will die it may die so another tip is there mm, uh, uh, for the fertilizer i have added only cow dung compost nothing else uh, so that's the main <coughs> requirement for this plant and another the most important thing is the disease that is this plant is affected mainly by mealybugs mainly by mealybugs so uh, I'm going to give you a tip on mealybugs that is whenever you will see uh, ants on your plant it's and they ensure that your plant is affected by any one of these that is either mealybug or uh, aphids 
so this plant is mainly affected by uh, mealybug i can show you one now only you can see this one this one so what i do uh, naturally i do not use any chem uh, chemical pesticides or anything like that just um, uh, i take a stick small like this one and i just used to disturb it it uh, will fall down or stick to this stick and it have fallen down and here i have some water with me and you can see both the millibugs are here so in this way uh, in water they will die millibugs die is in water if they are in kept in contact with water another thing you can do is you can use uh, sharp uh, blades of water uh, means through pipe uh, that will also remove the mealybugs of your plant so now i am going to show you the flowers as i have mentioned in the earlier so now you can see the flowers mm -hmm. i think so if you like my video please give my videos a like and please subscribe to my channel uh, for more updates um, if you are uh, having any queries regarding any of my videos you can ask me in the comment section below and okay thanks for watching